I was glad to start today with good news. Just a few hours ago, the Council reached unanimous agreement on the single supervisory mechanism, the flagship of our banking union. You remember when we spoke some time ago on this, some people say it will not fly. It's flying. It's happening. We have presented our proposal in September, and in December, unanimously, the uh, member states agreed on it. We must maintain openness and high ambition and deliver a realistic sequencing. We expect this European Council to give a clear si signal in this sense, even though I'm sure we will not be able to solve all open issues today and tomorrow. Eh, è importante che avendo vissuto tutti insieme il bellissimo momento di Oslo eh, lunedì scorso eh, noi eh, sappiamo eh, trasformare quella carica psicologica che è venuta all'Europa in decisioni eh, rapide e coerenti per costruire un futuro dell'Europa sempre più eh, migliore anche operativamente con gli strumenti adeguati. The European Commission welcomes Italy's ambitious and wide-ranging reform and consolidation agenda. Significant measures have been taken over the past year to bring down Italy's excessive deficit and to tackle Italy's high government debt. Considerable progress has been made to improve the country's competitiveness and growth potential. One very important result that we can already see is regarding financing costs. But since you asked me, yes, I spoke with uh, uh, Mr. Berlusconi, I know him for many years and I spoke to him yesterday uh, early afternoon. I'm not going to detail, it was a personal conversation, but uh, of course you can imagine that I made the points I just made now to you. The importance of having stability in Italy, the importance of keeping Italy in this path of stability and reform. This is critically important for Italy, but also for the euro area and for the European Union. Per ribadire una mia personale convinzione, e cioè che qualunque sarà l'esito delle elezioni italiane, eh, ci sarà in Italia un governo che eh, si collocherà nella linea tradizionale di un forte appoggio dell'Italia all'integrazione europea. L'avanzamento dell'integrazione europea è mia convinzione, ma credo che sia un convincimento diffuso tra le forze politiche italiane. L'avanzamento dell'integrazione europea rappresenta un interesse nazionale per l'Italia.